Unreal lets you very easily move assets from one project into another project. So let's say that I have this like little dragon dude here that I made for my game, and I want to put it into a different project. It's actually kind of as easy as just taking all the assets that you want. In this case, I'm just going to move this entire folder with like the textures and the materials and everything to do with that. But maybe not with these two uh, level sequences, because that obviously requires me to also port over the entire level. So I'm going to select all of this. Then I just right click and I go to asset actions and I can migrate. Then it asks me which assets I want to migrate and everything that's selected here is going to be migrating, which is obviously much more than I care for right now. So let's deselect all that and make sure that I only have the things that I care about. So that's everything in the spirit folder aside from the animations. So that would be, I think, these two. Then I press OK. And it pops up with a just normal Windows Explorer or whatever OS you're using. So here I am in my Unreal Projects uh, folder. Usually it's just on this PC and then my documents. I have a bunch of them here. Let's just go to another one I have open, which is, is actually on screen. That's the tutorial I just recorded. Uh, and that will be somewhere in here. So is actor on screen. Now it is important that you put these into the content folder of that project. It only can migrate things into your content folder. It will copy over the entire folder structure to the files that you're migrating, which is why it needs to go into the content folder. Because right now it will, I think, copy over the like 3D assets, characters, like the entire structure of the folders that I have these assets in. So let's select that folder. It's going to migrate them to that project. And now if I open up that other project, you can see we have 3D models, characters, enemies, spirits, and all the assets that I included. Uh, I excluded the wrong assets uh, for the animation seemingly, but we have just ported over a asset from one project where I like did a bunch of stuff to it, to another project where I can just easily now say, hey, add in this swimming character, which is very big in this project, uh, into here, and we should be good to go. It did unlink some of the stuff. Sometimes that does happen. Uh, this spirit, because it's parent material didn't get ported over either. This is a material instance. It doesn't have a parent material. So do make sure to include everything about those assets because it's not going to warn you when there's missing dependencies. But the animation itself, as you can see, uh, works relatively well. I'll just put both of them side by side. Made in one project and now existing in another project. It is really that straightforward and it can really help you moving assets around different projects to reuse and save you a bunch of time. And a very big thank you to all my Patreons. You can see them on screen right now. If you want to help support the channel or get any of the project files in any of my tutorials, there's a link down below to the Patreon page to support me or alternatively as a YouTube member. And a huge thank you to my Cave Big Brain tier supporters, which care more for coding than impulse control, Earl Monserville Erno, my Cave Student tier supporters, Paul Berry and Oiku, and my Cave Digger tier supporters, Mauricio Farias.